Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to talk about strings in Python. Strings. Uh, I frequently get asked, Anthony, uh, what's the difference between single quotes and double quotes? And why do you prefer single quotes? Um, isn't double quotes the way? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anyway, let's 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 talk more about that. All right, so we're going to open up Python, and the thing is, single quotes and double quotes are exactly the same in Python. Single quote foo is equal to double quote foo. No difference. Uh, my guess is that this was originally done for convenience, but I don't know. I actually, I seem to remember when I was compiling Python 0 for, mostly for the memes, let's be real, um, that it only supported single quoted strings. Or maybe it was only supporting double quoted strings. I don't know, one way or the other. At one point in time, Python only had one type of string, but now it has both, presumably just for convenience. But there's no difference between the two. And um, and Pep8 even like goes into details about this. Uh, Pep8 is kind of the official style guide of, of Python, although <laughs> it lacks some internal consistency and well, whatever. Pep8 is, Pep8 is what you want it to be when you want it to be. Uh, but anyway, the things that it says about single about string quotes is that single quotes and double quotes are the same, and their recommendation is equivalent to my recommendation, which is you know pick one that works for you and stick to it. And uh, yeah, they, they make no recommendation for this. And as long as you're consistent, that's the good thing. <laughs> uh, there is one reason that you would want to pick one over the other uh, or deviate from your rule, and that is if your meat of your string contains the other quote character. So if you had like, hello, single quote or double quote world, you would probably want to use a single quoted string instead of a double quoted string where you would have to include an escape sequence. And so the, like summarizing everything, like I would say, pick either single quotes or double quotes, stick to it and deviate from it if it will make your string avoid some amount of escape sequences. Now, personally, I like single quotes and it's a really silly reason. The reason that I like single quotes is uh, it avoids pressing the shift key a little bit, uh, which can, you know, <laughs> Avoid me from making typos, like, you know, if you have to press shift to double quote, and then you're going to type, you know, hello world. Um, oops, this was capitalized because I had to press the shift key. But anyway, it's it's a little thing. It really doesn't matter. and I really don't care that much. But in my code, I'm going to use single quotes. Uh, and that brings me to the last thing. And uh, consistency can be difficult, especially in a code base where you work on with uh, where you work on it with a lot of other people, or an open source where people who are not intimately familiar with your project will also contribute to your code. And in those situations, I would strongly recommend using a code formatter to make sure that you're consistent in these ways. And I'm going to talk about two particular code formatters. Uh, sorry, that was from the last video. <laughs> make a virtual env. Uh, and the first one we're going to talk about is black. And black is a relatively recent uh, code formatter that uh, I want to say originally came out last year, uh, but it picks a particular style of code formatting for everything, including single and double quoted strings, and will format your file to do that. Let's just make a sample little file here. Uh, we'll print, you know, hello world, and print hi, my name, in double quotes arbitrarily. <laughs> is Anthony or something like that. I don't know. Silly, silly example. And you'll notice that I used a single quoted string here and I used single quotes with double quotes for, uh, you know, the inner part there. So if it were a double quoted string, it would need more escape sequences. And black knows about this and will avoid rewriting those types of strings. So if you do black on this file, you'll notice that we get your reformatted t.py. And if we cat t.py, you'll see that it converted those single quotes to double quotes. Cool. Now, I prefer single quotes, so I actually go the opposite direction of black. Uh, and I wrote a tool, I think it, the original version of it was in like 2014, so it's been around for a while, uh, but it's part of pre-commit hooks. And you probably wouldn't install it with pip, but you can. Uh, pre-commit hooks. We don't need to go to the pull request. Um, Double quote, yeah. So there's this tool called the double quote string fixer, and this will replace double quoted strings with single quoted strings. And just for sake of demonstration, we'll install it from pip, even though most of the time you would use this through pre commit, 
kind of in the same way that you would use black. And you'll see if we run double quote string fixer on t.py, it will, <laughs> fixing, fixing strings in t.py, it will put things back to single quotes. And then again, it won't touch the ones that have quotes in the middle of it. But anyway, my recommendation here is pick a formatter, set it up on your repository, and then stop thinking about double and single quoted strings. Just let the let the code formatters do their job. Now, uh, you might be like me and prefer single quotes and want to still be able to use black, which has, um, has its benefits. I don't personally use black, but you might want to. And fortunately, black has an option to leave strings alone. Uh, black help. And I believe it's, yeah, skip string storm normalization. Stormalization? <laughs> um, and this will prevent black from rewriting strings in either direction. So black won't make single quotes or double quotes. It'll just leave all your strings alone. Uh, so you would configure black with this setting and then have another tool such as double quote string fixer, which forces things to sync. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about strings. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.